What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Kenra Spe Spell Spear is a new one. Spell Spear. 2-2 two, two Prowess Trample. You can transform it into a 3-3 three, three Trample. Ward 2 Prowess Prowess. Double Prowess. And it only costs the three mana to do that. I think it's pretty good. I like Teferi here. Deathrite Shaman is new to the cube. Perhaps you've heard of that guy. Orcish Bowmasters. This is a real, this is an, a Bowmaster Talarian Academy pick. I think Bowmasters just goes in, other, in, in, in more decks where Talarian Academy has a higher ceiling. <sighs> What's it going to be, you know? I feel like Bowmasters is a little bit better. What's going to come back? Maybe Rona. Maybe Deathrite if no one appreciates it. I'll take a Bowmaster, sure. The card's just very good. All right. They nerved him. Put a little nerve in him. Commercial District. I don't know what this card looks like without the borderless treatment. I'm going to take Liliana here. I think Liliana has the highest upside. And um, could take Memory Jar combos with Bowmaster. I think Liliana actually sets us up for a deck. I like a Dothy Voidwalker too. I like Portal to Phyrexia. We can discard it to Liliana and then get it back with something. Not Goblin Welder though, because I'm pretty sure that guy was removed, unfortunately. Um, I kind of like just Dothy Voidwalker here. And if Sunken Ruins, Kozilek, or Portal comes back, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're definitely taking Dark Ritual here. This is like the perfect Dark Ritual start. They've they've put in the, the Mirage Dark Ritual now. That's nice. Uh, nothing I really care about in this pack. Dark Ritual is basically Black Lotus for, for black. Insidious Roots. Creature tokens have tapped to add a man of any color. Whenever one or more creature cards leaves your graveyard, you make an 0-1 plant. And then you put a 1-1 counter on each plant you control. That's a... They're asking for a lot here. This is just Hollowed Fountain. Generous Ent. I actually kind of like Generous Ent. It goes to the graveyard easily. It gets us a forest, which could be good with our... Did our time run out or did I accidentally click that? I don't know. And then we have a pack like this where there's no black, but we do have a lot of black green stuff like Witherbloom or a Seekish Chariot. Coalition Relic also interesting. I think Chariot's just a little too strong. Turn two Chariot off of Dark Ritual is pretty good. Oh, I like a no Ignoble Hierarch here. That lets us cast our things. I feel like we're in the right colors. I also do like a Palantir a lot. Shoot. Y'all know me. I gotta take a Palantir. Sorry. Turn one Palantir off of Dark Ritual. Chef's Kiss. Chef's Kiss. Oh, Renin 6 is fat. That is, what is this Grim Monolith in here, man? Eighth pick Grim Monolith? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I get that it's not as like... There's also Berserk in here. There's a lot of there's a lot of infect cards without having any infect creatures, which is very fascinating. Oh, Deathrite Shaman and Hex Drinker came back. And Lotus Petal. And Yavimaya Cradle. This is a pack, man. Pac-Man. I don't understand Grim Monolith. I think we're just taking Coveted Jewel. Now that we have Grim Monolith. Turn three Coveted Jewel? Is that good? I don't know. We don't have Kitten. I think I'm just taking Hex Drinker. 
I would take Death Rite Shaman if um, if we had any indication that there were going to be uh, some uh, a sizable number of fetch lands. I will definitely take an Underground Mortuary, though. That's pretty good. That's an on-color fetchable land. Uh, I did want the portal, and I think it could still be good, especially if we hit a channel or something, so I'll take a portal. Nurturing Peatland? Oh yeah, we're hitting everything. Sick land. Eternal Witness is great here. Alright, yeah, I, I like the way this, this is, this is, I feel like we're in the right lane for sure. This is 13 playables. <laughs> oh man, I was kind of hoping the Ignoble Hierarch would come back. This might just be able to kill somebody. I guess we'll see. No, I must confess. No, 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 no. Last pick staff, huh? We do have Bowmaster and Chariot. Oh, there's an Ancestral Recall. Would you look at that? Would you goddamn look at that? Also, we have pest infestation in here as well which is a banger <sighs> can someone tell me if i take the ancestral recall or the pest infestation because i don't know i don't have any idea we also have eternal witness which gets back ancestral recall It's still recall. You're right. It's still recall. Well, if you're greedy, I'm definitely greedy. We're going to take Verdant Catacomb here for sure. Yeah, this pack is great, but a Verdant Catacomb uh, just makes the Ancestral so much better now. It's an on-color fetch that can get Underground Mortuary. Trash our mana. It just makes our mana salty. Also, Generous Ent can get a green source, so if we see Tropical Island, it's good. Or we can even see Hedge Maze. We cannot see Breeding Pool, because that was in the first pack, but the other options are here. I do like an Atraxa. Is this an Atraxa deck? Can it become an Atraxa deck? These are the questions. The, the alternative is Pack Rat or Concealing Curtains, and Atraxa is just significantly better than those there's also time twister but th that means leaning into like narset leovold hall breacher and i don't even know if we'd hit those whereas atraxa just needs like a reanimate card because we have lily on it to yeah just take any atraxa there's nothing there's nothing super compelling in that pack plus if our mana gets better we can just cast it on like turn four with a grim monolith We do have Bowmasters for Twister. That's true. Recurring Nightmare. And they did add Bitter Blossom back to the cube, which was a great call. Good job. Recurring Nightmare is actually great for Atraxa. So I'm going to take Recurring Nightmare here. Ketria Triome. I like everything about you except for your mountainous, mountainous part. Vengevine is interesting. Shadowy Backstreet could help cast Atraxa. I don't care about it that much. This just might be fine because it, we can get it with Verdant Catacomb and it's an island. And the island helps us cast Atraxa, but I think we can do better. I think I'd just rather have Metamorph, which is basically just free. We could also just take like a... Whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you return to the uh, This might be just fine, actually. It puts cards in the graveyard. I actually like Detective here because it goes well with Recurring Nightmare. You just keep getting it back and it keeps giving you a card to... Let's try it, that guy. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take Vampiric Tutor here. That that's hardly a choice. Oh, there's the Leovold. Well, that's fascinating. I doubt Twister's coming back, but Leovold still might just be worth it as a guy. I think it's better than Preacher here. Yeah, I'm taking Leovold. Creeping Tarpit? Okay. All right. Well, we've pivoted into Sultai because we're degenerates, but also because they gave us an Ancestral Recall and a Leovold. So, you know, whose fault is it really? Omnath, eh? Maybe we're just five colors. Who knows? Mm, I think it's probably Kaito here. Kaito lets us discard. I like discarding. Otherwise, you have red, red, red. I don't like Corpse Dance. I think Kaito is just better than Corpse Dance. All of our, all the tri lands we've seen have contained mountains, which I don't love. I'm still gonna take it because it's black green. I don't care about Mystical Tutor. Eagles, we're not going to be playing at all. Upheaval, we're not an Upheaval deck. Yeah, Concealing Curtains just came back. All right. Blooming Marsh is nice. Could take Savannah. We can search for it with Catacomb, and also, like, it's just better than a forest. And it lets us cast a Trax at a certain point. Yeah, I think that's actually good take underdog for the same reason we took the other guy. Priest of Fellerites. Okay. Priest can go. Stitcher can go. Yeah, I like having a lot of these tiny guys to Recurring Nightmare with. Kaito also makes a creature for Recurring Nightmare. I don't foresee Portal making the cut currently. There's a bayou that gives us almost literally every black green land. Mortuary, Verdant, Nurturing Peat. We passed Blooming Marsh. We've seen almost all of them. There's an Ulamog. This is a reanimatable Ulamog. I'm going to take the Ulamog. I think we're good on lands, and if this comes back, that's just great. But if we hit channel, it gives us another good channel target in addition to... Uh, portal. Mm, watery Grave would have been a good choice. I agree with that. I do kind of like Birds of Paradise here. Shoulder to Birds of Paradise. This is actually a pretty tough call. Shoulder does seem great. Birds fixes for everything, though. And it does let us play like a turn three Leovold or a turn, or turn two Leovold or a turn two Kaito. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's got to be birds here. I think birds is just more relevant to our to our strategy. Oh, polluted delta is fantastic. Whew. I like that. There's also a hedge maze. If Hedge Maze or Emrakul come back, I think that'd be great. But yeah, we're definitely taking Delta there. Him to Torok. Good gravy. We could Echo of Eons. We have Leovold. We have ways to discard Echo. I think we're taking the Echo of Eons here. Nothing else in that pack was, was very exciting. I don't like Renan Realm Breaker that much at all. It's always very unimpressive. This Nissa's pretty good, though. I don't know how many forests we're going to have. We're not going to take Wasteland on a four-color deck. I mean, Legolas's Quick Reflexes is pretty good. I'm going to take the Nissa here. Another Ulamog. And a Blightsteel. 
If there's a channel in like, what is this? 23 plus 12, 35. This is 36. If there's a channel in the next two picks, that would be cool. Could Shallow Grave either one of these two? I don't think Shallow Grave is where we want to be though. Who's that? I don't know if I care about scavenging use, but I think it's just better than random big fat Eldrazi. Mutagenic growth too. All of these, did they forget to add the infect? I'm very confused. Talisman of Dominance helps us with the blue. Yeah, it's the only card I really care about here. I, and I barely care about it. I don't think I, I don't think Nissa's gonna make the cut. Marsh Flats, Life Death, Titania. We only have two fetch lands, but Titania could be decent here. Hmm. Here's the kitten. If we had, if we had a uh, currency, con or no, I always get coveted jewel. We could have a pretty sick interaction there. <laughs> I think, it's, I think I'm just taking Titania. No, let's take Marsh Flats. Oh, the Bayou did come back. The Watery Grave did not. Definitely gonna take Bayou here. Well, I've forgotten. Yeah, I, I feel like we should have taken Watery Grave. That was probably a, mis a sizable mistake on my part. Let's take Living Death. Maybe something cool happens with Living Death. Could take Meticulous Archive. We can get it with Marsh Flats and Polluted Delta, and it fixes. That's not terrible. It gets both of our splash colors for Atraxa. have 10 lands. Oh, let's take Savine's Reclamation. We're not going to play it. This is 24 cards. Oh, Reflexes came back. Okay. I'm going to put Scavenging in the sideboard, but it might just be good enough to main deck. Blightsteel came back. Blightsteel came back. Twenty-five cards. Blight steel can go. I mean, I kind of feel like we play around living death, right? We discard, discard, discard. Liliana lets us discard. I agree, but then we need two cuts, and I don't know if I love two cuts here. Echo of Eons without, I mean, we have, so we have both Leovold and Bowmasters for Echo, which I think is pretty good. Hmm. Take out the reflexes, I think. This is 23, which I kind of like. I do like scavenging use if we're playing Living Death because it just exiles their creatures too. And it's probably just better than like Underdog. Or Dogged Detective. Let's see how this looks. So by color. Okay, we got all of these behind us. Yes, 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 yes. I think I think we play Proving Ground. It's still just a dual land that we can cycle. Oh, 
So what do we got? Green sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven, nine, six actually seems pretty okay. Three, four, five. We even get one more. I would definitely add another green. Three, four, five, six. This is still, this is 16 lands. What am I missing? Did I add, I think I added, um, yeah, I think I added scavenging without taking out one of the other guys. I think I want to try dog a detective over underdog. So many dogs. I like that I can only grab 14 no matter how low I go. It's like, no, no. You can't get those other two. All right, so. Mana value. No, mana color. Sort by Colares. Okay, so this is... Let's just do one more quick check. We have black. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven black sources. Seems good. Green sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, 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 eleven, ten, six, and we still got one more land. I, I don't think it's another blue. We only have th essentially three blue cards. We also have Birds of Paradise. I kind of want to make sure we get like a forest on turn one for birds. And I think three forest, three swamp is fine. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Let's see if this deck does anything. Well, we can marsh flats for a meticulous bobiculus. That seems pretty good. And then we just Ancestral, and then we put Generous End and go search for another land. It does not let us play like a turn two like Dothy Voidwalker or I guess that's it. Right? We can still play Dogga Detective, Orcish Bowmaster, Scavenging Ooze, Grim Monolith. So it doesn't really hinder our turn two growth that much. Let's yield until the end step. Yeah, get in there, you little turd. Yep, meticulous. Living death. Um, I'm gonna keep that on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Play land, we go to seven. Play ancestor, we go to six. Then we go back up to nine. So I'm pretty sure we just cycle this guy. Because they could have wasteland, I think we're just playing forest here. And then on their turn, we'll, we'll cast ancestral and cycle generous end. Once upon a time. I think building up to living death here could be pretty good. At the very least, we'll get a 5-7 back, so... They just hit Flooded Strand? Okay.
I was like, oh, good. Strip mine. Got it. Well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what's our play next turn? Let's just get Mortuary. Mortuary's good on board. Proving Ground's good in hand, so. Hmm, fascinating. So if we put him up to level one this turn, next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So we can put him to level six. Not, not enough. So we're definitely just going to play this guy. Oh, maybe we just discard Emrakul or Ulamog rather. Yeah, let's just play Mortuary here. Um, I don't think we need this. Yeah, we'll discard, discard Emrakul. I keep saying Emrakul, Ulamog. That's not his name. Yep. Go get your Wasteland. Okay, breeding pool, sure. So next turn, we could Living Death. Ideally, they kill this, and then we just Living Death for Generous Ent, Ulamog, and Hex Drinker. That would be cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, fascinating. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. Well, we don't have a way to draw here. Otherwise, I could see going Vampiric Tutor to get Liliana. Dark Ritual. Play Liliana. Kill Reclaimer. <laughs> um, do we just pump this guy to three? Feels correct. I would like to be the monarch. Let's discard a Traxa. That guy's big. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, you got it. Great. Echo of Eons, hey? I mean, I don't know how we lose if we just... All right, so creatures, we just get the one. We can get Palantir, Recurring Nightmare, Kaito, and probably Swamp. No, let's get Island. I 
Did we play a land this turn? I believe we did. All right. Just pass, I guess. Uh, discard a card. So you got to discard four here. Uh, let's get rid of Echo. Don't think I care about Kaito. Get rid of Verdant and Bird. Sure. I mean, this lets us Vampiric Tutor during our upkeep if we want to. You got it. I'm not sure what you could be looking to get here. Didn't, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that worked out pretty well. I don't feel bad when I end up crushing the deck that wants to just stone rain us a million times. Actually, the card is Strip Mine, you see. Yep, just gonna submit like this. Yeah, this seems fine. Every game with this little shit. I'll just lead on Tar Pit. Dark Ritual lets us Liliana. I think we're just getting Proving Ground here. I want to be able to build up to a Swamp. I mean, they're just going to get Strip Mine. But we can't really stop that. Oh, they did not. Oh, yes, they, they didn't. Fascinating. I guess that's because they attacked, which I didn't even consider. Well, this is pretty good. So long as it works, right? Do not counter my Liliana. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're playing counter spells in this deck, but. I'll get a strip bite. I love getting strip bites. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite. I love making it so you can't play your cards. That's my favorite part of Magic the Gathering. I'll get rid of your Zeotaurus Proving Ground, I will. <laughs> Oh, goody. Goody. Oh, Grim Monolith is interesting. I'm pretty sure we just played Grim Monolith to cast a Seeker's Chariot here. Let's discard... Bayou. I like the white here, just in case. So next turn we can actually Generous Ent to get a land, play the land, play Recurring Nightmare, sack a cat token. Sure. That's good against Liliana. But it doesn't do much on board, so. Spells and abilities can make you discard or sack permanence. Great. What did they name? Court of Garenbrig. And of course they hit. <laughs> oh, hilarious. I guess they could, oh, they probably just looked at the top card and just named what was on top. That's smart. What a little smarty. Thank you. Forest cycle. We'll get a mortuary for now. We'll play an island. Play nightmare. Get this guy back. Sack a cat. I guess I should have crewed with both cats. Yeah, that would have been smart. But still get two blockers. Man, Court of Garenbrig's kind of a pain in the ass, but each player discards a card, cannot cause you to discard. Okay. Well, they're just going to keep drawing until they no longer have Augur or Tamiyo in play. So, I mean, if we draw like a, a track set, we can easily still discard it. They just don't discard, so. Care about that. What did they name? They named Brainstorm. Okay. Sure. Great. Cool. <laughs> this old chestnut again. Really? You're killing our swamp instead of our island, huh? Is there anything we're doing at the end of the turn? I don't think so. Palantir. I don't or think so. <laughs> that doesn't. That was terrible. Okay, so we're going to crew both of these guys. To it, Tammy. Let's see if you want to lose both of your gentlemen. I mean, I'm no expert, but just hitting one 
one land to turn off of Crucible just to kill one of my lands every turn doesn't seem like the best. We could play Mortuary, see if there's like a Trax on top. Oh, good. We just get to get rid of Tamiyo. That's pretty good. Oh, Leovold. Put into the trash can. Get Leovold back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we just discard Palantir here. Is that better than Savannah? They're going to get to kill one land. No, Palantir has to be better. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Guess they got a big decision here. Check two. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. That was like four minutes ago. I was deep in the tank, I get. They discard Fallen Shinobi. They were like, we're never getting in there for Fallen Shinobi. Seems fine to me. So even if they if they kill a land this turn, we still get to play one of these. And then our thank is going to let us draw a card. So we should be able to just keep pace if they just want to kill a land every turn. They have three cards. One's a Brainstorm, one is a Court of Garenbrig. Is that correct? Fascinating. Just copy Leovold. Copy Generous Int. Okay. And now Court of Garenbrig? Sure. I would love something to target that Generous Int. Oh, they can't draw a card, actually, because of Leovold, so that's pretty good. Oh, lovely Leovold. Dark Ritual, what do you do? We have six lands in our graveyard. I guess we can play Palantir and Recurring Nightmare. We can just play out our hand and have both players discard. That actually seems okay. So no more Brainstorm for you. Um, do we have an effective way to get through this idiot? I mean, we can attack with like our own generous end two cats probably not attacking with Leovold right they go block here block cat block 4-4 four, four. but I guess the cat's just replacing itself Otherwise, they go block here, block cat, block cat. Hmm. 
Attacking with both of these, they block here and then just trade here. That seems pretty bad. Yeah, I just don't think we have good attacks right now. Um, put on the bottom, put on the top. Take 10, please. They did not take 10. So now we can discard this to Liliana. And then just recurring nightmare it. Yeah, this is pretty, I mean, Court of Garenbring can get out of hand pretty quickly. Well, let's see what you top decked. Man, they didn't even want to put a single card in our graveyard with Palantir. That's kind of funny. Tear asunder on Liliana. Wow, that's hilarious. Huh. Well, that's fascinating. Does that do anything? <sighs> I mean, I guess it does in one turn. What is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so actually, we can Vampiric Tutor and untap the Grim Monolith. Man, not taking 10 from Ulamog and then also killing the Liliana the turn we'd need it to discard is pretty sus, man. We just don't have anything to really do here. Uh, put on top and put you on top of that. Great. I mean, we can go get a white source, untap Grimonolith and just play Atraxa. Yeah, eight, nine, and seven, four. Seven, eight is like pretty insane after two turns of this. Savannah's in the graveyard, so our only white source is like Meticulous Archive, and if we go for that, they could just Crucible and strip mine it, so it's not really great. If they don't do anything, we could also just go get Scavenging is? I don't know if that's any good. Yeah, Birds is not super ideal. Terra Sunder was a good hit, though. <laughs> Demonic Tutor, the turn we get. Vampiric Tutor. Okie dokie. Well, shit. Uh, 
five mana, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. It's always a strip mine in it. <laughs> Never fails. Still no attacks. Still draw nothing. Crack this guy. Get a swamp. My tutor is worse than your tutor. My board is better than your board. Maybe. My hand is better. What can we do to discard things? Just Recall is a hell of a card. That just might be the ticket, right? What does Living Death do? It gives them a bunch of shit. Hmm. Hmm. Echo of Eons. Do I have a second blue? I do not. Boy, I wish I had a way to get that into the graveyard. Wouldn't that be something? My god, Liliana would have been so good here. I mean, if we go grab Ancestral, they're just gonna... We could witness into Lily. Actually, that seems very good. Hitting island. That's okay. One, two, green, green, black, black, two. Yeah, that's fine. We get to draw a card, so that's nice. They also have 11 cards in their library, so if they just can't deal with an Ulamog here, they're pretty much dead, right? One, two, three, one, two. Oh, we're still in upkeep. Let's not do that. Oh, there's a white source. Okay, great. One, two, three. Well, let's see what that hits first, right? We're just going to play that. Um, I'll keep that on top. One, two, three, one, two. This guy obviously used that. Liliana was exiled from Terra Sunder, so <sighs> that was not the play. How many people in chat thought that was a good play? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> why do I trust chat? <laughs> oh no. Chat, why? <sighs> That's discouraging. Yep, that's that's probably going to cost us the game. <sighs> yeah. Well, I might as well just untap this, I guess. Oh, God. That was the saddest thing I could have done, I think. Does this do anything? They get back Reclaimer, Wayfinder, Bird. They get a bunch of shit. We don't want that. <sighs> Great. Really emphasizing trust but verify here. Yep, seven six seven five. Yeah, this is just this is ridiculous. This court of Garenbrig has taken over the game.
Boy, that that Terra Sunder top deck into killing our Liliana was really good. Uh, I think Scavenging Ooze would have been good. It would have been able to start exiling their relevant cards like Strip Mine. Um, I mean, Echo would have been probably decent to just have in hand. I don't know. We don't really have many other discard outlets. Oh, Kaito would have been would have been reasonable maybe as a discard outlet. I mean, this is already nine mana. So you're just attacking my face with everything? Sure. Seven, five, five, seven. Okay. Seven, five. 13, 14. Okay, I guess we're just double blocking with cats here. Nope, not you. So we're taking 7 and 5. We're taking 12 and going to 2. Sure. Yeah, sure. Fine. Great. I'm pretty sure you make Leovold and Elk. I don't know. It doesn't seem that... that complicated. I mean, Living Death would have been decent if we had a way to mitigate Grimonolith into an elf. Elk. Sure. Scavenging is... <laughs> Fashionably late to the party. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We have eleven, they have nine. Good sack elf to get generous ent back. Sack monolith to get eternal witness back. Have two mana. I do not see a course, and we have five minutes versus theirs. I'm just going to concede here. Yeah. Yeah, that's obnoxious. <sighs> All right, got to play a little quicker this time. Man, Scavenging Ooze would have been great against them. Any discard outlet would have been great against them. Yeah, we just, I think we just let their Court of Garenberg get a little out of hand. We just didn't have a great answer for it, so can't really beat it. I mean, even if we take the Monarchy, the Court still gives you two plus one plus one counters a turn, which is not great, but it's definitely better than doubling the counters every turn.
Okie dokie. Keep. Wow, this hand is actually great, especially on the play. Turn one bird into turn two anything. Curtain into recall. Yeah, that's... Let's live the dream. Well, if we were going to win, this gives us a good chance to do so. <sighs> Fantastic. Haven't seen Mana Crypt once. Here it is. Bitter Blossom. Welp, that's pretty good. Especially when we've established we have no real great ways to... Let's play Curtains. Ancestral. Pass. Well, Generous Ent in the next turn we can get Generous Ent back. This could be a lot of damage. I'm always yielding to both of these. Oh, they lost a trigger. Got it. Yield. I don't want to yield until the end step. If they go strip mine, I'll just F5 really quickly, I guess. Five more like that and we're done here. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. Yep. Yep. Great success. You got it. Want a 15? I guess we'll get a Savannah. Okay, maybe we just go island, flip this fat daddy, see what you got in your little hand. Tamiyo, court, um, definitely getting rid of court here, don't care about that. Thank you! Double block? No block, okay. Tiger Nate, thank you for the re for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate you, brah. All right, go to eleven. They lost the flip again. They're at eight. Beautiful. Living their best life. So they just played Tamio here. Play Euro. Got it. Okay. Sure. Got it. Really? Just that guy. Got it. Okay, there's a lot of lands. Let's get in there with the eye. Oh, interesting. Put you in the front. Kill those other two. So let's go one, two, three, recurring nightmare. Uh, 
tap this, get back generous and to get rid of you. Go to food, play a tar pit. And we didn't use the blue for anything, but that's fine. Oh, they won the flip, dang. Damio. You got it. They got back Court of Garenbrig. Great. I hope they attack. Forgetting about the reach. Oh! Beautiful! <laughs> Yep, delicious. Give me more of that. Okay, so we can just attack and kill their Tamiyo, or we can take their Monarchy. One, two, three, activate. Hmm. We can also Eternal Witness to get back something and play that. Let's go black, black, void walker, cancel, savannah, we'll go green, green, green. Ewit, get back, recall. Well, they go to seven at least, or eight at least. Lose that flip. Oh, ho, ho, ho. go to five. All right. Shadow and Creeping Tar Pit are lethal. What do they choose? They have to choose like Strip Miner Wasteland, right? Named Virtue of Persistence. They did not hit. There's the breeding pool that we knew about. All right. Got him. <laughs> Three minutes on the clock. Oof. That was the thing right there. Good gravy. Who's having a good time? All right. This might be keepable because of generous Ent, and then we get to dog it into a land. This is a shockingly... Surprising keep. Shockingly surprising keep. What the fuck does that even mean? Who says words like this? So now we can get like Bayou. Uh, definitely want to buy you. It increases our odds of playing like a Dothy Voidwalker. Dark Richie. Oh man, it's only four mana. It still might be better to just play a Palantir now, but then like we can save the ritual for living death. I think we're just playing, I don't think we're in a super big rush here. We're definitely keeping this on top. So we're putting this dude in the trash and we'll just play this guy. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, next turn we could also just ritual into living death and get back these two, which is not terrible if they play something good. Yeah, you got it. Okay. I 
think we just get Palantir on. Oh, actually, let's get Liliana and we'll kill their guy. And then we can start dogging. Get dogging. So next turn we can discard Atraxa, we can play Palantir. Oh no, they're gonna like, oh, that's not bad. I thought they were gonna like arc trail us and deal like two to two to her, one to him or something. Well, they get a Lava Claw Reaches or a Mountain. Blossoming Tortoise and Bowmasters in the garbage. Took the Reaches, got it. Just a recall. No, but that's okay. Does anyone want to build their second card each turn? I'll discard this guy. Thank you. I mean, fingers crossed they don't have anything to reanimate, right? I guess then we living death. It's Ulamog. It's always Ulamog. Oh, mean mugger. My dear, thank you for the resub. I'll put this on top and I'll put this on top of that. I don't know if that's any good. They're gonna they're gonna pitch the marsh flats because Everyone always does. We're going to get an Eternal Witness next turn. Probably should have done it the other order. I don't know. I don't want the land, but I do want the land if they give me the Eternal Witness. But now I don't get the land and they give me the Eternal Witness. <sighs> Baby, leave and work. As your message said, yes. Fascinating. I will block here just to keep Liliana alive. Actually, I kind of like Liliana get rid of Eternal Witness and then get everything back. Let's do that. That seems like the play. Oh, they get Rafellos. Eh, that doesn't really do much, though. I mean, we get a Traxa. Yeah, actually, this is pretty good for us, I guess. Oh, they get a Bowmasters back, though. That's pretty obnoxious. Let's, we're not drawing any cards though, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna get Dark Ritual back. Let's Surveil first. I don't know if this is great or not. We'll see. They have four cards. These two give them two extra mana, but Bowman, like the rest of the cards are kind of meh. Anger also being in play is better than Anger being in the graveyard. Yep. Mill your little thingamajigs. Wow, three lands. <laughs> I guess you hit a land. Yep, and they're forests, so that's pretty good. I assume we're just killing... 
What did they hit? Oh, they just hit Liliana. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I do kind of want Leovold. I'll put this in the graveyard and I'll keep Leovold on top. All right, so let's see what we got here. Wow, Leovold is the only creature. Good, good call. Good call, me. Way to go. I think we're taking Verdant. Okay. Instance, we have Ancestral, Vampiric. Let's take Ancestral. Um, we do have to keep in mind they have Bowmasters, though. But actually, maybe it is Vampiric Tutor. What's our removal? What can we get to get rid of Bowmasters? Our own Bowmasters. I like that. All right, we'll get Tutor. Okay, these will be our six cards. Eternal Witness gets back Ritual. That makes a food. Play our land. So what is this? One, this is three, four mana. I mean, we could crack this to get like, I don't know if we can get a land that we can play this turn. We might just have to get like Swamp. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to play Chariot this turn. We could Concealing Curtain though. If we wanted to, if that does anything. We could also Dark Ritual for Kaito. I do kind of like that. Um, let's get a Swamp. Dark Ritual. Empiric Tutor. Put our own Bowmaster on top. Play Kaito. And make a ninja. Alright, that seems good. Except for Palantir, they're going to put this... They put it in our hand. Oh, great. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, we weren't drawing extra cards except for the Palantir, which we can't avoid. But, I mean, this still drew us a card. So. And the Kaito kept the Liliana alive. That's a way to look at it. So. I mean, there's no way to avoid it. We're going we're gonna to get hit one way or the other. So they're killing Leon or Kaito. I'd kind of rather them kill this because now we can discard Echo. We can play Bowmasters, kill their Bowmasters, and then play Echo if everything goes according to plan. We don't have a second blue source yet. That also might just kill our... I doubt they're killing Liliana. They're probably just killing Atraxa, right? Like, we can't go this into this. I'd rather I'd rather just have... Well, it's, I don't want them to draw seven, though. So I guess it's kind of... Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured you'd do. Don't reanimate her. That would be sad. Fast bond. Sure. Without excavator, that's fine. This is pretty sweet. Their deck is pretty sweet. Including mandrels, totally fine. Ravager, sure. 
Okay, that's fine. Katie's home. Yep. 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 Interesting. Oh, they just attack and then they draw three. Yeah, all right. I would love to have Bowmasters out, but alas. Man, they're attacking with lots of things. Oh boy. Face, Liliana, Liliana, Liliana. No, they've changed their mind. Face, 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 face. Quattro faces, okay, you got it. Just no lands. Wait, what happened? Oh, they mill three and then they put a land back, sure. Yep. Okay, let's block this guy and this guy. I guess we can take four. Choose you, block here. Yeah, that seems fine. All right. So we can go Echo, kill this. And now we can pitch Echo. We deal them seven, they're tapped out, and we probably just kill them, right? They go to 11. If we shoot their face. Or we can just give them one more turn. How much damage is this? Five? They're just going to block here. The wall's kind of obnoxious. I don't think I care that much. I think we have a bunch of dudes. I think we're just playing Leovold here. I have a stack all the way down there. Play Proving Ground, Pitch Echo. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh isn't that cute? <laughs> That would have been another hiccup. I'm just gonna pass here. They have two cards, access to three. I wanna put both of these on the bottom. Hit an Ulamog. Let me... So they have to have an answer to Leovold or a way to get Echo out of our graveyard. The problem is if Orcish Bowmasters doesn't win us the game when we echo, like we're just giving them seven cards and a turn to recover. So they have two they have two cards. Sure. They can make a one one with Grist. And that's pretty much it. Fingers crossed. Fable, that's also fine. They have one card and 
a decent amount of mana actually with her fellows. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. It's a lot. Okay. Oh, they all have haste. So they're just they're just going all in here. What is this? At? What's happening? Convoking? Hogak? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It does have trample. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures to deal with. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're fine here. Wow, that Hogak is wild. Yeah, they kind of had to go all in here. They have no cards. I'm pretty sure we just have to block correctly. Okay. 5-7 on 8-8. Eight, eight. I like that. It blocks most of that. 3-3 three, three on 2-2. Two, two. Uh... 0-4 on 4-4, four, because four, that guy has Trample. 2-1 on Reaches. 1-1 one, one on Rafelos. 1-1 one, one on... Actually, we'll put these on this guy instead. So if they crack this... It's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine, nine, they can remove a counter and give this guy plus one, plus one, so it's ten at most, but then this guy's one less, so I think we're taking nine here. There's no way to deal one damage to my Leovold. They have no cards. All right. I'm going to say I go to two, I'm going to go to three, I think. I don't think anything else has trample. Paying costs. So they're either going to pump Rootwalla. No, they just pumped this guy to four. Oh, okay. We're taking one extra here. Wait, what? What did I miss? What are they pumping with? How are you pumping with wall of roots? You can use it's a, it's a 12 three. What the fuck? Delve. You can't man, I guess. Okay. What just happened? Activates an ability of Lava Courage. X is one. Activate, oh my God. Activated abilities of lands cost one less to activate. All I had to do is leave this in front of Lava Claw Reaches and we win the game. That's insane. Okie dokie. I guess I just don't know every word on Tortoise. That's my, that's my bad. That sucks. Yep. I'm glad no one in chat, um, <laughs> I'm glad no one in chat knew that either because Tortoise is just a not very common card and I just missed that. That's, that's amazing. <sighs> this hand's pretty rough. Any land here is good though. We get to go Grim Monolith into Palantir. I'm going to keep this. Wow, all I had to do was put the creatures in front of... I wanted to get rid of Tortoise because Tortoise just gets Lava Claw Reaches back. But I guess if we're playing Echo, it doesn't matter, and I just missed this ability that that activated abilities cost one less. I was like, is this a bug? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got way too much text. Like, that's, un that's frustrating, man. Nice. 
I think we're just playing Palantir here. Um, that's fine. We get to keep a Bowmaster. And next turn we get to play Dog and Detective. Oh boy, Surveil, eh? I'm gonna put both these on top. We'll put the Leovold on the top top so that they can pitch Leovold if they want to. But then we do get a Verdant Catacomb out of it and they take three, so that's fine. Oh, they they pitched both. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Because you don't get the choice. You can't just pitch one, so. Yeah, that's right. So we get neither. I should have put the Verdant on the bottom. Sure. Well, if they never give you a land, Palantir is worse, but... I think we're just passing here. Give me some big fat idiots. Two lands, huh? I want to put those of these on both these on the bottom because they're probably not going to give us anything at 16. Then again. Wow. Two lands and an Asika's Chariot. That's pretty good. Just shoot your face for now. Yeah, I guess we just shoot face here. This doesn't have haste. And they don't have a way to get anger in the graveyard, it seems. They might just pitch their whole hand and draw three. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. Bowmasters, great. Fantastic. Let's just get back probably Verdant Catacomb. It might just be polluted because we want a blue source and I don't think we have a searchable blue. We just have Meticulous Archive. Yeah, let's get Delta back. Could also just get Meticulous Archive back actually and just play it. That seems better.
Um, put that on the bottom, this on top. Sure. I mean, living death is pretty good here if we can just hit one more land. <sighs> yep. I actually don't want the detective. I want him to come into play with living death. Come on, one black land. Actually, it doesn't even have to be black land, just one untapped land. Our odds feel good. You got it. Bizarre. Fascinating. I kind of like living death here. It's pretty sweet. There's a Hogak. Right, they have no cards in hand, so the odds of them playing Hogak is pretty high, it feels like. I mean, we could recall. We're going to take three if we do that, but uh, it's probably worth it, right? Like, But being able to get rid of all three of these guys is kind of what we need. <laughs> Yes. They do get Hogak back now. That's fascinating. Why didn't they cast it, I wonder? I mean, do we care? We get Bowmasters, Leovold, Detective, and Witness. I mean, just because they have they have a Hogak and a Pyromancer. Discard two cards and draw two cards. So they just draw two, though. But we get Bowmaster, so we get to just shoot it. Yeah, you know what? That's not terrible. I don't feel like we have the luxury of... of I don't want to get give another attack to these guys. We can't... Like, we could have, one, two, three, we get to eat the two or three, we get a four, four, but then, like, we wait. Yeah, it's... Oh, they also don't get to draw because of... Because of Leovold, so they actually get nothing here. Now, the question is, do we get Living Death or we seek his Chariot? I think we get Chariot back here. Oh, they get to draw one. Sure. So we'll shoot him again. Oh, an Ulamog, eh? You can go into the graveyard. I'll keep the land, though. All right. That seems pretty good. It's fine, I'll just draw land here. So they have two cards in hand. They can't activate Bizarre because we have both Leovold and Bowmasters. Solid. Hogak, huh? I'll take it. So we can go, we can get, 
scavenging is pretty sizable here. I don't feel like we're in a great position to attack though, unfortunately. I do want to exile this before they have a chance to activate it. Being at nine is decent though. Hmm, okay, maybe we're doing Hex Drinker, huh? I'm gonna bottom both of these. That's good. Okay. Okay. Oh, Yavamaya making this just tap for green is great. Now we don't have to actually pay the life to do it. Well, that's a lily. Black, black, green. I imagine you'll get rid of Wall of Roots. So what is this, three, four, five, six? So close to Atraxa here. I'm pretty sure we just Dark Ritual. Do we have it? We don't have a, We have a white and a blue here, so we can actually just play a Traxa next turn. Whereas right now we can cast Chariot. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass here. We have. We have some good action. Uh, I can keep both of these. We can Concealing Curtains next turn. Two cards in hand. Excavator. I think that's fine. I'm sure they're going to play Heath here. They played Swamp. All right, well, I'll get rid of Heath. And we'll get rid of that guy. All right, well, we knew that was coming. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just get rid of Mortuary. Land, got it. Um, so let's play you, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, you didn't do a white there, huh? Green is first. Fascinating. All right, let's pick up Recurring Nightmare, Vampiric Tutor, Echo of Eons, Dothy, and an Island. Play land. Is this lethal? 
what do they do? Block the biggest guys. They block here and here. They take, they block here and here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's just lethal. Just win the game instead of giving them more draw steps. This is two land decks back to back that we've played against. That's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> I mean, if we had anything else to get rid of graveyard stuff, I'd probably play that, but we don't. Um, if we had anything that dealt with lands, we'd play that, but we don't. Uh, this hand seems great. Turn two, Voidwalker into turn three, Leovold. Get, a, get an island here? Oh, no, it's not a Voidwalker turn two, then. If we had that sweet watery grave, it would have been good. Take two. Grim Monolith? Hmm. That doesn't do anything for us right now, but it's still very good. <sighs> I think it's got to go in the graveyard. That feels weird, but... I mean, if we get Bayou, it doesn't let us play this or this. If we draw Island naturally, it would be great, but... I guess if we draw a Swamp, we can go Dothy Voidwalker into get Island, which would also work. So we have to draw a Swamp, an untapped Black Source, or an Island. This is a lot of nothing they're doing right now. Liliana of Lavelle. So this is a forest. Does that does that matter? Not really. Yeah, we're just getting Bayou here because this guy seems very good against them. And I don't think I've seen any removal. If Tortoise dies, be careful. What does that mean? Tortoise can die. And why can't the tortoise die? <laughs> the first time I've ever seen removal for any creature. Phenomenal. You got it. <sighs> Great. I, I, I would kill for an untapped blue source. I, I think we have two islands. But I guess we just get to kill tortoises. It's, just, it's okay. <sighs> this is pressure. I feel like they're doing a lot of things very quickly and I don't like it. I don't like it. They're going to get Temple Garden back, I bet. Oh, Urza Saga. Wow, that's really good. Jesus Christ. Why couldn't you just hit a normal land? We have one card in hand.
Well, I guess we're just playing Liliana here. Not the worst. I mean, they can just keep getting Master of Death back, which is, I mean, it's not super impressive, but it means you have, this is draw to discard to. They just failed to find. Oh, that's great. I guess because they have Temple Garden Swamp in here and they already have Bayou and Swamp on board. So they're forced. That's better than, better than to be expected, I guess. If we hit a land, we can go Hex Drinker and pump it twice. If we hit a blue land, we can play Leovold. <sighs> they don't have blue mana, so it's like they can't actually cast the Master of Death. Is it just there to, like, recur? Oh, Vengevine? We have to cast two creatures? That seems difficult. Never mind. That guy's good. If they go Hooting Mandrill with haste into... <sighs> yeah, that's good. Alright, well... They could have also made a 1-1 one -one and attacked Liliana with the 1-1 and put us to 12, which seems like it would have been a lot better. What? What? This is terrible. What? You would have gotten a Vengevine and you would have made a 1-1 one -one and another 1-1 one -one and another 1. How much damage did you just give up? You could have shot the Liliana. And dealt us 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty big oopsie doopsie. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Yep, that's a good board. Great. <laughs> Play terribly, get rewarded. <laughs> Fantastic. I love not hitting a fourth land or a third color. That's good. <sighs> what can you do? All right, let's see if we're facing another land deck. We'll keep this hand. If we hit any untapped land, it's a turn two Palantir. Avacyn's Pilgrim, not the most impressive. On tap land. A Mox Diamond a swamp. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Instant speed vampiric tutor. Or sorcery speed, I guess I should say, rather. It's always instant speed. Untapped land. Not an untapped land, so I get to play nothing. Wonderful. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, love it. Absolutely love it. It is a common opponent. It's true. Oh, good. A natural or. Okay, that's a good one. Yep, not sure how I'm beating a turn three primeval titan. Oh wait, turn two, my mistake. Oh, good, a wasteland. I was afraid I would actually get to keep my lands this game. Thank goodness that's not the case. Oh, wonderful, axe drinker. So they're gonna attack, kill our creeping tar pit. Yeah, no, we're not gonna play this out. This feels like a waste of time. Okie dokie. I could definitely use some more creature and artifact slash enchantment removal in the deck. I don't have much of it. But uh, not much we can do now, unfortunately. <sighs> All right. Well, we can get a buy you into a bird. You know, that's pretty good. That's as, as best we can do. I'll keep it because of that. Look at all these blue cards, though. Bird cast blue cards. And then they can Wasteland us? Ah, that's worse. Eh, we still have other cards, though, so I'm okay with it. I'm not okay with it. Don't get me wrong. It's not great. Okay, not a Wasteland. Great success. Huh. Well, we were going to pick Mox Diamond, but instead we picked Orgish Bowmasters. Do we regret it? I don't I don't know. Hard to say. Grim monolith. Remember when we were talking about uh, enchantment removal? An artifact removal? And all the removals? Let's play a Liliana. I will discard Echo of Eons. Well, they now have six mana on turn three. No, turn two again. It's only turn two again. Primeval Titan on turn two again? <laughs> oh, seems good. Could be anything, though, you know? They did nothing instead. Well, okay. Let's play a Kaito. 
Discard the detective, I think. Because a detective can just come right on back, you know? And we're just going to make a 1-1 one, one here. All right. I feel okay about the situation presently. Should I? I don't know. It looks like they were going for natural order, but they just didn't have it set up. They now have seven mana and two cards. All right, here we go. Terra Sunder on the Liliana. They now have one card. We can hit it with Concealing Curtains. That seems good. Okay. So let's keep in mind that the Liliana has, has been exiled because that's what Terra Sunder does. <laughs> All right. So let's draw a card. Okay. What's that black? There's no reason to take damage. Bird ain't doing us any favors. Let's flip this gentleman and see what your last card is. An Emrakul the Promised End. So you now have instant sorcery. So it's cost nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're two mana away from just casting Emrakul the Promised End. Oh, no, we're not letting that. You, I, I think a random card is better than Emrakul in your hand. I guess we'll we'll have to see if that holds true. Okay, Swamp is fine. That's eh, that's still good, but it's not. You can have a forest. Um, I think we just kill Karn here. One, two, three. Attack, attack, attack your face. Draw a card. I guess we'll just play a Savannah. I feel like it's we're in a good we're in a good position to just sack nurturing Peatland here. Well, that's obnoxious. They named Kaito Shizuki. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be seven, so yeah, we're definitely just cracking this. Oh, I like that. Is there something we want to get? Ancestral Recall? Does that do anything good? Feels okay. No. Surprisingly, it's actually not Ancestral here. Ancestral draws us one card. Bowmaster lets us... Or Ancestral draws us three. Kaito draws us one. And we get to keep Kaito on board.
Yep, that sounds good. Nice. All right. All right, let's see if we can 2-1 this bad boy. This hand seems good. I mean, they've had seven mana on turn two every game, so I don't know if we can beat that, but... All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> every game. Absolutely every game. Okay, if you're just going scavenging, that seems fine. I think we just Dothy Voidwalker here, to be quite honest. Grim Monolith doesn't do as much. And I'm not sure how many answers they have to a Voidwalker. You got it. This is another reason I didn't mind. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to do what you think it does. <laughs> oh my god, we just got an Emrakul? Uh, or a prime time. <laughs> Okie dokie. I will choose Emrakul. Yeah. And we get to cast it if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're just gonna play Emrakul. I'm pretty sure it's Bowmasters shoot something. Or we can just play like Grim Monolith into Palantir, which also feels okay. And our, I think we want to do that just to hit lands.
No, we don't get to do that because it's happening on our turn. Not their turn. I do, however, get to control their turn and make them run their scavenging ooze into our Emrakul. And then also tap their Mana Vault, so that seems pretty effective. I want both of these. But I will be I'll be satisfied with just Dark Ritual here. Yep, that seems fine. Oh, look at all this junk. Upkeep. I'll put my upkeep. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. I will not pay four. I'm just going to go to my upkeep and take my damage. Oh, they just, we just win the game. <laughs> we were going to play nothing and kill our scavenging news, and then we'd have an Emrakul, and that seems pretty good based on what their hand is, so I'll take a 2-1, even if every opponent we played against had Wastelands. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.